everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is. And I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. All right, I'm here. It's four o'clock. <laughs> I'm on time. I see you guys saw that I snuck into the kitchen and grabbed my drink. <laughs> Wouldn't be a GBE event if I didn't have my drink on me, right? So Jennifer Miller, my lovely assistant, <laughs> she's going to be my assistant today um, and is going to be pinning and um, posting things. So if you're looking for my YouTube channel, she just posted it because I see a lot of people are asking whether or not I have a YouTube channel. So in case you don't know who I am, I'm Kelly. I always forget this part. I'm Kelly and I uh, I own Kelly's Bead Boutique. I have a brick and mortar store. I have a very large online store. I have a huge YouTube channel and um, I'm kind of just everywhere. So <laughs> we're gonna have some fun today and I'm gonna make a really great piece. Rum, rum and Coke, how would you know that, Kyla? Huh? <laughs> Well, it's uh, Diet Pepsi, actually. <laughs> but yes, I haven't actually been drinking very much lately because I'm not feeling so good. So um, this is really kind of yesterday and today are the first time I've had some drinks in a while and I'm kind of enjoying them. So uh, not really doing too many lives, no, because I just don't have a lot of time. I really, I, I barely have time to film a video. So, um, you know, there's just not enough time to go around lately so with the with the move and yes we're even on TikTok we're and so are you Sarah <laughs> you guys do lots of good stuff on TikTok I actually have one of my staff members who's young and hip and you know <laughs> and so she does all the TikTok stuff because I don't know anything about it so anyway so have you guys had a great day today I unfortunately have not been able to watch much because um, as many of you know I just moved to sort of a non-working farm and uh, holy smokes I swear to god this has been um, a really good diet plan and uh, <laughs> it's uh, I lost 20 pounds <laughs> mostly because I'm not feeling so great but also because I've been so busy um, so it's you know so much work and I just we were grabbing cabinets from a renew store today and putting them in the garage and getting rid of the old ones and yeah, so the house is coming along okay. It's just, you know, lots of things. We got a fridge um, delivered today, and of course it had a dent in it, so we have to get a new one, and it's always something. But I'm trying to learn to just be okay with whatever happens, because I used to freak out about that kind of stuff, and it doesn't make it any better. So that's what my new approach is, just roll with it. So that's kind of what I'm doing with everything that I do in life these days, because I just cannot continue to panic. It doesn't serve anybody well, so... Anyway, so we're going to have lots of fun today. I've got new beads to show you. I've got another kit that I'm going to show you. And we're going to make my Carmen necklace. So now make sure you listen to this part of what I'm going to say. So um, I named this after one of my st uh, longtime staff members. Carmen has worked for me for, uh, I don't know, four years, five years, four years maybe. And um, she had to kind of come and go when she was suffering through a, a nasty bout of cancer. Um, but she came back and she works in the back here. So many of your orders are filled by AJ or Carmen. And um, she's a lovely girl. And she's very sort of boho. And I've, when I name my pieces, which I changed to women's names because it was too hard trying to come up with like, you know, the babbling brook kind of thing. <laughs> it was driving me nuts. So I said, well, girls' names I can come up with. So I've named them after a few people. Uh, one, Jennifer that's watching, she got one named after her. She has a different uh, spelling of her, so she got one. Um, and almost everybody that works for me has had something. And I was trying to find just the right one for Carmen, and this was the perfect one. So AJ's got a kit, everybody's got a kit. So this one is Carmen, named after Carmen that works for me. So there you go. So um, a few things, I'm gonna just, um, before we go down to the project, um, I have to have a cheat sheet because I'm old and tired. Um, <laughs> so if you place an order anytime between now and Monday, you will get 20% off. And to get that 20% off in the coupon box, 
you're just going to type in the word fall fest it doesn't matter if it's capital letters or lowercase doesn't matter just type in fall fest it's valid on everything except kits tools and clearance so that's a nice little bonus and don't forget that if you live in the United States, you're also going to get the benefit of the exchange rate, which is hovering around the 25% mark. So you would, we don't give you that back, but your bank would will, um, your bank will, when your money is all settled. So you'll see another bonus there. So it's a really good deal for my American friends. Um, so if you do place an order, that will automatically put you into a draw for two $25 um, store credit. So you'll get to spend $25 in my store and have some fun. And uh, But you have to order to be able to get that. And um, make sure you stick around to the end because I am gonna have um, some more giveaways. So um, you wanna make sure that you stay till the very end because I've got something to tell you. Um, let's see, so if you wanna watch this again, it will be available on my uh, Facebook page. Also on the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page. And on Monday at 12 o'clock, I always put out a video um, on YouTube and I'm gonna re-edit this and put this on um, YouTube because I don't have time to make something else. So if you wanna watch it again, please go there and like it. Even just watch it for a minute and like it just so that it helps the algorithm and you know. Um, no, Angela, these aren't new glasses. They're the ones I've had for years and this is a fake lens, so it looks weird. Um, this one's the one that actually works. I had my eyes so messed up after my um, surgery, which was in March, and I still can't see out of this one. So I, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like a walking nightmare. <laughs> you know, you just have to go with it. Um, so, and I think there's a new thing. I'm looking over at my, my computer like I can see something, but I can't. So if you go, maybe Sarah can say something, because I think she's still on. Um, I was gonna call it the announcement page, but there is a place that you go, is it called? Uh, it was called announcement, it's an announcements, and I was gonna look it up, but I got busy. There's a place that you go to enter the GBE um, draw for the huge giveaway that um, we uh, have all donated to, and it's gonna be a good one. So um, maybe Sarah will pop that up, the link up there. So make sure you go back and enter there, because you have to enter all these different places to get um, into all of these. So. Um, yeah, so that's about all I have right now. So I'm going to swing the camera down. So I apologize. I'm not all fancy like a lot of the uh, presenters that have uh, all these, you know, technical cool things. I have a very, you know, rudimentary rig here. So I'm going to pop it off of this one and put it on another. And um, let's hope that we don't all get seasick in the oh, feature tab. Yes, thank you. That's what it is called. I knew somebody, uh, somebody would know that. Okay, do I have to switch you around? Yes. All right, see once I get you on here, and now today I actually remembered to bring my laptop. Oh, look at that, so I can actually read comments. I probably won't read all of them as I'm um, working on my project, but at least I can um, speak to some of them. So there we go. Okay, so today we're gonna be making our Carmen kit. And that's what it looks like. And this one's lots of fun. You know, I was saying last night during the uh, preview presentation that um, macrame is so huge right now and I just wanted to do something a little different and it was funny because a couple of the other presenters wanted to do a very similar sort of thing, but I got there first, so <laughs> I got to do it. Um, so this one is going to use, um, you know, I can't even remember the amount of leather that I have here. Let me measure it because if you guys want to make something like this at home, so there's 50. Okay, so there's 60 inches of one millimeter leather. It's really important that you watch that your leather doesn't have any like little, you know, nicks in it or anything like that. Um, so that's what we're gonna be using today. We're also gonna be using this um, textured ring and we have some 22 gauge wire. And I have this fun little mini pendant made out of wood. I thought this one was really cute. So we're gonna use that today. And we'll be using some Tierra cast bead caps this is my favorite tiara cast bead cap they um they're so perfect i have often take um, taken these and hit them with a plastic mallet and flatten them out and use them more like a spacer i just find them really versatile so we're going to use that and i have these beautiful juicy i say that a lot about beads but i think that this is really juicy um so this is going to uh this is a um, sorry i'm just looking over here because i'm not getting my comments 
So I apologize for not getting comments. Um, so if anybody has a question, um, maybe somebody will answer because I can see them on my phone barely, but I can't see them on the um, computer. So I do apologize for not answering anybody's questions. Anyway, so these are Czech glass and they're a, a nice large size. They're like about a uh, 10 or 12 or 14 millimeter. Um, maybe Jennifer can pop those up because they're on the Czech glass in our strands site I think um, and these are the beautiful complement to the little um, six aught seed beads that we're going to be using I, I just love these thought they were so nice and this just sort of nestled in there perfectly so it was kind of like one of those things that just all happened nicely so we'll be using some of these gorgeous Picasso saffron uh, six aught seed beads which are so nice and we've got a big jump ring a little uh, feather charm and another tiara cast uh, product this is a large hole bead which I love and we have a slider um, this is a silicone slider and people often ask me well do you carry all this stuff well yeah i carry everything you can buy this as a kit but you can buy all these things separately too and if you're looking for this one you're just going to type in the word silicone it's but it's always easier on a website if you type in one word and then all the different things will come up but this one is what we're using and these come in two sizes and this is the smaller of the two this is the soc2 and uh, I want that because I need it to have a little bit of um, tightness around our leather. So we're going to use one of those today. And then because we are going to be doing barrel knots, we're going to be using a barrel knot tube. If you are looking for a barrel knot tube, you just type in the word barrel knot tube and it'll come up on my website. You just go into the search bar. Um, if you do get a kit, you'll get one in there. Um, this is sort of one of our most coveted little tools. <laughs> um, and as far as tools today, we're going to be using our chain nose pliers and our cutters and our bent chain nose and round nose and at the very end to put the silicone uh, slider on i do like to keep a pair of pointy um what are these things called um those are called what i can't even think tweezers good lord some days the brain's not working uh so those are really nice because they've got a really pointy end and yes we do sell these too and they're only like 3.99 and also we're going to be using a little bit of GS Hypo cement today. Okay, so let's get started. But before we do, I'm just going to pop this up here so that I'm going to take a short slurp of my um, drink. I'm going to see if you guys can see that. Does that show? Yes, so I think it does. So that's the, the stuff. So there's my website, how much you'll save, the time, and the coupon code is FALLFEST. I'm going to have a short slurp. All right, so I'll put this up again at the end, just in case. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to find the middle of our leather. So I just take my two ends and marry them up, and then I just kind of take my fingers and run them down the leather, and of course, that's got a knot in it. So let me take the knot out and start that again. <laughs> There's always gonna be things like that, right? Okay, so just put your two pieces together so they're even, and then run your fingers down and now you're going to have a little loop like that. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with uh, to make this is a lark's head. So I'm gonna take this piece of leather and I'm gonna go down. And then all I do is I just take, I sort of fold it over like that and I'm gonna pull from the bottom until I create this little lark's head. So what I do is kind of take my, my nail and sort of push that in there. All right, so you'll know that you're in the right way when you can see that little bump on the top. So you always wanna make sure that you're this way versus that way. That's sort of the wrong way to do it, and this is the right way. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that we isolate this left-hand one, and we're going to work with this right-hand one. So I'm gonna just take one of my 6 aught beads, and you know, if you have problems getting it through, you can cut this on a sharp angle, but you shouldn't have too many problems. So now we're gonna create a lark's head, but how do you do that when you've already got um, a bead on there and you don't have two pieces like this? Well, we're gonna sort of create it in two steps. So we're gonna go down through the loop. So I just take my, my leather and go down. And then I'm just gonna go, so that you can see there's like a loop here now. I'm just gonna grab that and pull it so that it comes up like that. And you'll know very quickly if you've done this wrong. You'll, you'll be able to see. So there's the first half, so I kind of pull it tight. And now I'm gonna come up through the bottom. So I go up, and then I just kind of grab hold of that. 
because I want to come in from behind and grab that and pull it tight. And now you can see that I've got a lark's head knot and my bead and another lark's head knot. So there you go. That's pretty easy, right? So I'm going to be doing this over and over and over again. So just pop our bead on. Thank you, Jennifer, for being my Vanna today. I can see you answering questions. I do appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and then I just reach in the middle and grab hold of that. So this first one always feels wrong. It's like, well, that looks weird because you see how that looks. But once you do the next step, that's when it all works nicely. So this one, you're going to go in the reverse. You're going to go up and then I come from behind, grab that little tail and pull it. So now we've created our next on there. So I think we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so I'm going to do six on one side and then six on the other. So there's kind of a little trick to doing that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it, it, I thought it was kind of fun. I've seen a lot of these done with um, without the bead, just a you know macrame around the ring. But I was looking at it going, well, you know, I think I can add a bead. How can I add that on there? So I just started playing. So always make sure you go in reverse on that second one. That's the one that you'll get messed up on. Now, if you have to put this down because you got to go answer the phone or, or, you know, go to the potty or something like that, make sure that you are in the right direction. So you can see that that's the wrong side and this is the right side. This is where it's got all those little bumps on the top. That's how you always know that you're in the right way with macrame. This is sort of like the undercarriage. I hope that makes sense. So just trying to get these on there easily. So you always want to make sure when you are macrame that you um, use a little bit of, um, you know, constant tension so that everything is nice and taut. You never want to pull this so tight that you break it. Um, you, you know, it, you could break it if you were pulling too tight. So I just kind of jiggle it into submission there. <laughs> I kind of get it where I want. All right, so there we go. So I've already got four on there. And we'll go five. And I think we gave extra beads just in case your cat jumps up on the table and some of them go flying. You know, those kind of things. <laughs> Thanks, Rita. So I know my fingers are in the way when I do this, but you know, you kind of have to hold on to it. So hopefully you're understanding um, easily enough how you do this. And I'll make sure that I move my fingers out of the way at some point and, and show you one more time how to, you know, do this. So see, we've already got almost half of it done there. Thanks, Robin. I, I've only got uh, just a little corner of my phone that I can sort of see some of the um, responses because I kept my um, laptop so I could see them, but they stopped and I'm not sure why. But you know, Facebook is not always very um, user friendly. So we have to kind of just fly by the seat of our pants when it comes to these lives, right? So now on this last one, we make sure we go up and reach from behind and grab that. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six on there. But I can see that that needs to be kind of pushed together a bit because I need to get six more on. So I'm just gonna kind of push those together. And once we get the other side on, we're good. So this is the side that I just ended with. And now I have to turn it over and start with the other side. And I, I have to admit, this is where I usually get confused because I'm now going kind of upside down, but you know, it's doable. You just kind of have to think backwards or upside down or inside out or something. <laughs> yeah, it's not really intricate, I would say. It's just, you know, you have to sort of think about what you're doing. Okay, so now I am gonna be sort of upside down on this one. So on this one, we are going to go um, down. And then now I'm gonna be pulling it from here because we're going sort of in an opposite direction than we were at the beginning. And then I'm gonna go up. And then I always just kind of reach through because you want that to come through the middle of that loop. And you can see now that that created that lark's head there again. Okay, so it's a little different to do it sort of backwards, I guess, or upside down, whatever we're gonna call this, but you just kind of have to think about it. So. Okay, so what I usually do is I take my bead and I kind of swing it over like that. 
and then I, I know my first one always goes down so I, it goes down and then I grab hold of that and just pull it up through the middle you always want to make sure you're on the inside of the leather like in the middle or the inside now to do the second half I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna grab it and pull through the middle and then that creates our little um, bump there which is exactly what we want for macrame so pretty easy peasy right Yeah, so we're doing it this way because I have to um, meet my two pieces up in the middle to create my barrel knots. Otherwise, I would have just gone all the way around. But I needed to figure out a way to meet in the middle. So that's why we have to do it this way. So we'll go start with down and pop it up through the middle. And if you're not really understanding, just, um, you know, listen to my voice and, and then go back and watch this after. because. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you watch these things, it's like, what is, what is she doing? But I think it's pretty simple. So how many have got on here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do I need? What did I say I needed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I need three more. See, I can't even remember what I did. You know what? I made this one, I don't know, two months ago, something like that, and then I had to try to remember yesterday how I made it and I went, uh oh, <laughs> that always happens to me anyway. Okay, so we're going to go down again. Always start with your down. If you go up, it just doesn't work out the same. Give that a little, little tiny tug. I'm not pulling super hard. Now we're gonna go up. So you can see I'm running out of room. So I have to grab that in the middle. Ooh, we have a bit of a storm out there right now. It is very stormy. So I'm just going to sort of, you know, smush these together. You're the boss of this, so just make it do what you want. I'm just moving them along a little bit. Okay. So I have two more to do, I believe. If anybody's counting for me, hopefully. And you can see in your kits, you're going to have plenty here. Yes, that would be a really good um, fundraiser with this one, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go down. And yes, this is a really great way to use six aughts, uh, Lorena, because you don't need very many. You only need, I'm going to use a total of 14 because I'm going to put some on the end. Um, but you don't need a lot. So if you've got a few stragglers kicking around um, and you have a ring, I'm not exactly sure how big this ring is, to be honest. We do sell these in our $5 bagged findings. Um, and they're a really good deal. So um, maybe the measurement is on there. So and this is my last one. So I am going to go down, pull that through the middle, and then I'm gonna go up and pull that through the middle. All right, so you see we've met in the middle. So now what I wanna do is just kind of space them out and get it all nice and you know sort of the way I want it. How's that looking? Pretty good? I'm just gonna have a short slurp here. Yeah these come in the five dollar bag findings in about four different colors and our five dollar bag findings you can actually get 20% off when you buy three or more um, but today I think if you yeah it'll you'll get 20% off anyway if you use the 20% off coupon. Okay so there we go that's how we're gonna start this off and so now we're gonna finish the back part of the necklace. So what I'm going to do is make a barrel knot. So if you've never watched me make barrel knots before, you're in for a treat. Otherwise, you guys have seen me do these a million times. Okay, so we're going to use this little tube, and it's just like a tool. So I'm going to place it in between our two pieces of leather, and I'm always going to work with the upper one. So I'm going to take that and pull it around to the front, and I'm going to wrap that around three times. So just go three times, keeping it nice and taut. Now I'm going to hold on to that so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to take that same one that I was wrapping with, go through the back side of that tube until it comes out. You see it come out there. Then I take it and pull it off. And now I'm going to, I know my fingers are in the way, but you kind of have to hold on to them. Now I just kind of jockey that down into position. Sorry if I'm off camera. I'm trying so hard not to be, but I never know if I am or not. All right. So I, just, I sort of find that you can't do this in like one fell swoop. You sort of have to jiggle it around a little bit and you know sometimes it just doesn't work out and just take it apart and do it again but I think I can make this one work it's just 
being ornery. It's a little more complicated when you've got beads and things in the way. Yeah, this isn't one of my best ones, but you know what? I'm rolling with it today. We're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna kind of jiggle that and see if I can get that to do what I want. So there we go. That's not one of my best ones, but you know, you kind of get the idea. Okay, so we're gonna get that in there. The camera's spot on. Perfect. <laughs> Pull, jiggle, and wiggle. Yeah, that sounds like a good way to lose some weight even, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I see lots of positive comments, so thank you so much. Okay, so now we have our two different ends. Uh, one's a little bit longer than the other because we were wrapping with it. So I want to use this one that's longer so that we keep our... Why did I put that on there? I'm, sometimes my brain's not functioning, and that would be right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go back and find out which one is long, and that's the one I'm going to put on top so that both of my ends will sort of end up around the same. Oh, I knew what I was going to do. Okay, you know, roll with it, right? That's what I said at the beginning of this. We're just going with it. Okay, so now after my barrel knot, I'm going to put on my lovely tear cast spacer bead. That's what I wanted to do. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to find the one that's longer. See, it wouldn't be a good live show if something didn't mess up, right? So this is the one that's longer. So I want to wrap with this one so that both of them end up um, similar in length. Okay, so I'm going to take my little uh, tube and put it in the middle and I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to go three times. So I'll go once, twice, three times and I'm working towards my left hand and then I'm going to take that end and put it through the back end of the tube and then pull the tube out and then I'm going to Keep hold of that so that it doesn't go anywhere, and then I'm going to squoosh it down. Squoosh being the technical term. So this one looks like it's going to cooperate a little bit more. So I just kind of gently roll it into place. Yes, you can't use anything but 6 aught on these because um, the hole won't be big enough to accommodate the leather. Okay, so that's how we're going to finish that part off. So now we're going to create um, another part of the necklace. Whew, I'm sweating now. You know, it's always um, fun when you're on camera trying to get this to work. Okay, so now we're going to create the bottom part of this. So we've given you a little chunk of, um, I think this is 22 gauge wire. So I've got stuff everywhere and trying to keep it under the camera. So I'm just going to straighten that out as best I can underneath this. And I'm gonna go about two inches down, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, about two and a half inches down. And normally I would like tip this up on an angle, but because um, my camera is very low, uh, so that you could see, it's gonna be a little kind of wonky. So what I do is I bend away and create a nice sharp L like that. And now I wanna have a really large um, loop on the end. So I'm gonna go up as far as my um, round nose pliers will go and then I'm going to go up and over and down and then I open them up and I rotate them so they're parallel to the table and then I bring that tail to the back and then I just kind of adjust it so we end up with a nice little loop like that and I know it's hard for you to see on this one because normally on my um, YouTube videos I have my camera way up so you can see a bit better uh, so if you didn't really understand what I was doing uh, go and have a look at some of my YouTube videos. Make sure you like and comment. And <laughs> uh, you can actually see how I do these wrapped loops a whole lot better than that. Okay, so now we're going to take our little charm. And make sure you put your charm on first because it's really easy to forget that. And then we're going to just run through the end of our hole there in our little wood pendant. And then the way that I wrap things up is I always start with my um, short piece on top. And I'm going to come in and just sandwich my wire between there. And now I'm just going to wrap around a couple times. So I'm going to go like three times. And this is meant to be sort of a bulky, messy wrap. So now if you're finding that you can't do it with your fingers, I just put lotion on, so of course it's getting slippery. Just use the end of your, uh, or sorry, your bent chain nose pliers. And we're just going to get that to where we like it. And that looks pretty good. It's got that sort of nice bulky kind of uh, thing that I'm looking for. And I'm going to use the flush side of my cutters and come in 
and give that a little trim. And then I just look to see if there is a burr. And there is a bit of a burr on this one. So I'm just going to do that. Now you'll see that this doesn't, this is not sitting right. So I usually find that I have to kind of MacGyver this a little bit. So I have to kind of take this and sort of boss it around. And I sort of push this down. My When I'm saying this, I mean the um, charm. You have to sort of like move, maneuver it around because unless you've got a, a pair of pliers that have like the large barrel uh, pliers, it's hard to make a, a large enough size loop. Most people just have pliers this size, so I had to sort of figure out how I could do it. So just kind of, you know, boss it around with your fingers a little bit and um, make it work for you. So, and again, because this is um, supposed to be that messy kind of look, that's exactly perfect, right? Okay, so, and I just kind of wiggle it around a little bit. You can even take this and kind of, you know, push on the end. But you don't want to push too hard because you do want this sort of round. But there you go, that'll, that'll work. Okay, can I move my hand up just a little bit up here? Sorry, I know I get too far down. Were you guys, was there anything there that you couldn't see? Hopefully that, that was mostly on camera. I apologize. I'll move some of my stuff here. It's always hard to get it all. Can't see what you're doing. Okay, is this better now? Am I up sort of more where you need to be? So, okay, I apologize for that. I cannot see what I'm doing because my camera's not cooperating here. So all I did was create a wrapped loop and I'm just trying to push that. I, you sort of have to push it down a little bit to get that um, charm to stay down. That's what I was trying to show when I, you couldn't see it. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take my bead cap and pop that on. And then I am going to put on my bead and then my other bead cap. Okay, so now I'm just trying to see which direction I have to be. So I now need to make another loop, but I need this loop opposite to this one. So the way that I create that, so that I know that it's going the opposite way, is by just bending it across. So now when I create my loop, it's gonna go up this way versus going around. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so now we're gonna have a hard time getting our pliers in there because that's kind of, you know, it's really close there. So I just kind of like jockeyed into position as best I can, and then we can alter it a little bit after. So up and over and down, rotate, pull that around. And you can see we give you plenty of wire in case you, you know, have to adjust. So I just kind of push that. I take my hand and kind of rotate like that until it becomes um, like a little sort of stop sign like that. Then we're going to take our chain nose pliers and go on top and wrap that around. So you're just going to go down a couple times and then back up until you have you know, something that you like. And it doesn't have to look any certain way. I have lots of wrapped loop um, tutorials on YouTube. I have tons of them. So if you look through my playlist, you can see see them. I think there is one that uh, shows you how to do just do that. So now I'm just going to go with my um, pliers and push down that burr. And so that's what we've got. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard to do all of this under this camera. I have it way too low. And it's hard to got to get this to it's just wire, so you can just kind of bend it and make it do what you want. So there we go so far. Okay. Is everybody doing that? Is anybody else's? Oh, are we having problems with the video? Hopefully not. Okay. So now I have to attach this to here. So what I want to do is make sure that I have one, two, three, four, five, six underneath there. Like I want to have a, a center point. So I'm going to move these around until I have something that looks like. So if you go down the middle there, I need to have like a little spot here. Well, you know what? That's turned over. Yeah, there we go. Remember I said you have to have the bumps on the top? That's what we want to have. So this bump here needs to be across from that. So I should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we're going to put a jump ring right over top of that little bump there. Okay? So... Now we're going to take our pliers and open up this large jump ring. So I'm just going to take my pliers and place them on one side. And then I take my bent chain nose and I turn them over like that. And that's an easy way to open up a jump ring. It gives you lots of mobility and um, it's really easy to do it that way. 
All right, so I have too many pliers and things in the way. So I'm just going to link that through there. And then I want to make sure I go over that center one. And then I turn my pliers over so that I've got a little bit more leverage. And then I'm going to do that up. So this is one of those things where you have to kind of hold your tongue the right way. Just kind of balance it a bit. I just have to get this back in there. Trust me, it does go on, but nothing ever works on camera because I'm in the most ridiculous angle right now. But I could actually get it on there without too many problems, except for today. There we go. And just kind of jiggle it so it until you hear that click. Okay, so now we've built our piece. And if it's looking a little off center, like I can see this one's a bit off center, I'm just going to move it all around. Like you can actually move these pieces one, even once it's on. So there, that looks a little bit better. So it's a bit more centered. So that's all we're trying to do is center this underneath that bead there. Okay, so I'm just going to look and see, is that the bead in the dangle? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so I'm just reading some of the comments, but hopefully I can, if you guys have any questions, hang on to them for the end, and then I can answer them on the at the end of the video, because I've got a few more things to tell you. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the necklace. So what I do is I take my fingers and run it down through, or run them, run them. I'm getting tired, can you tell? Um, run the leather through my fingers, and those are pretty close, so you can just trim that off if you want so that they're even, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So now we are going to take both of these pieces of leather and put them through this little hole, but there's no way that's going to work, right? Because it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to take one and put it through, and I'm going to put both of these the same direction. But this is where these little tweezers go. This, a little bit of swearing and um, a little bit of um, patience. <laughs> if you don't swear, then just have some patience. So I'm going to take the end of this and I'm just going to poke it right through that hole. And sometimes it'll pop out. It's some, it doesn't always work the very first time. Yes, yes, I do need more rum and coke to do this part because with my only having one eye that works right now too, this is really hard to do on camera because I cannot see what I'm doing. But basically what I'm doing, you can see right at the end there, I've got the pliers or the uh, tweezers coming out and I'm trying to get them. Not see. <laughs> Trust me, people, this does work. <laughs> it's just, I can't see very well. It's terrible. They're working really hard to try to get my eye to work a little better but we're having some challenges and um, she did t promise me when I was in there last week that it will be better but I just I literally cannot see out of this eye so it sucks only having one eye so you can see that little end pop through there and there we go so it does work you just have to have a little bit of patience so now the nice thing let me move all of this stuff so the nice thing about this is that it's completely adjustable to whatever length you want it. So one way you can adjust it is just by moving this up and down, or you can actually cut it and make it the length that you want. But make sure that you've got enough to get over your head. So I find the best way to deal with this is just to leave it this length and then put a couple um, knots on the end. So what did I do on this one here? I'm just gonna do a couple barrel knots. So I'm gonna start a couple inches down maybe. And where did my barrel knot tube go? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I feel like a pirate, you know. <laughs> One eye. It's very weird. Um, I mean, I can see out of it. It's not like it's completely black or anything. Um, I just can't see much. So, and I don't have any prescription on that lens. So, it's kind of a pain. Okay. So, we're just going to start, a, you know, I don't know, what's that, about four inches down. And I'm just going to go once, twice. And... You don't even have to use a barrel knot. You can just do an overhand knot or whatever you want. But, you know, I like to do barrel knots. And these don't have to be any particular way. And then we're just going to put on a seed bead. You could put a couple seed beads because I've got a few left over here. And then we're going to create another one there. So just go once, twice. And then put that through the... And, and you have to make sure you go far enough down your leather or else it gets hard to make those barrel knots. And I hope I'm being um, more mindful here of staying on camera. 
Okay. There we go. So now I'm going to repeat on the other side. So I know I want to start that one about there. So I'll go once, twice. Now this is again a really sort of uh, boho kind of look. So it's not meant to look completely perfect, which is really a struggle for somebody like me who um, strives for per perfection all the time. So um, you might have to just let it go a little bit if it's not looking absolutely perfect, or maybe that's good for you. Maybe you just like that um, kind of imperfect look. So, you know, we have to challenge ourselves sometimes and do things that are out of our comfort zone. And by moving to the property that I moved to, it's challenging me every day by doing, getting me completely out of my comfort zone. There's um, there's spiders the size of dinner plates, I swear to God, out there. They're so huge. <laughs> my husband hates spiders. And today, <laughs> there was one kind of jumping out at us as we were moving some stuff around. And he's like, oh, Lord, look at that thing. <laughs> okay. So now you could do this up a little bit um, to the end if you want there. But now you can see this won't come off your neck um, when you're adjusting it but you can make this a, a short necklace like this you know it's hard to do all that on camera or you can wear it a little bit longer just by pulling that up so now you can um, trim these up give that a little trim if you want I left them long on my other necklace just because I wanted that long but now what I would do is I'm not going to do it on camera or maybe I will here I, I'll do this just to show you what I would do I will take a little bit of GS Hypo and I'll go right in there because this is where you're going to get all of the um, sort of punishment is on these little knots because you're going to have these in your hands as you are wiggling this back and forth. So put just a little bit of glue on there just to make sure that um, this isn't going to fall apart on you and make sure when you do those knots at the end that they are nice and tight. So. I'm going to swap out with my other one because you know when you do things on camera it doesn't always turn out as nice i'm going to move all this stuff and i've got a few more things to show you guys so don't go running away <laughs> so i hope you have enjoyed this one because i absolutely love it i thought it was so much fun to put together so there we go and there is the completed piece so the only thing that I can recommend on this is to make the biggest loop you can and it will um, make life a whole lot easier. So what do you guys think? Do you like that one? Sorry, I had to have a drink again. I think it's kind of fun. So this is available in kit form. It's called the Carmen Necklace. And uh, we have right now, I think there was about 28 kits at the beginning of this video. Um, we will have some more in about two weeks. So if you didn't, if you want to get one and you weren't able to get it today, don't sweat it. Uh, we will have some more available. And um, yeah, and that's, that's, so that's what I made today. And how are we doing for time? Oh my goodness, I've still got some time. So I can show you some other things. So while I'm getting those, I'm going to just do this and show you that you can have your 20% off and um, it's good today through Monday and you just use the coupon code FALLFEST and that will get you your 20% off and unfortunately it's not available on um, tools or kits or on um, clearance. Go to our clearance page. We have some good deals in there. So all kinds of fun stuff. Okay now I had remember I said I had a little bit of a, um, something that you needed to remember. So um, <laughs> My mom's on there and she says that I got my talent from her. <laughs> Sorry, mom, I love you, but yeah, no. <laughs> my mom's a really good baker and a really good, uh, really good um, cook. <laughs> I would not say that she's good in the craft department. <laughs> I got that from my grandmother. It's not my mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> okay, so I have another giveaway. I'm going to be doing three giveaways. So let me grab my little piece of paper so that I can tell you again about all the giveaways. Ways. So if you place an order Sunday or sorry Saturday through Monday, you will get your 20% off if you use the Fall Fest coupon. You will also automatically be placed in a drawing for two $25 store credits. So there are two, you won't get two, there's two that are going to be given out. So in that uh, comment box in the order, you just write the words or just the initials GBE and then we'll know that you were part of the GBE and you will be put into the drawing automatically just by placing an order um and also what else was i going to do 
I have a couple different giveaways. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different things. So, um, so here's another one. So I'm going to be doing some um, uh, giveaways for some kits. So the way that you can win these is by um, placing an order and leave in the comment also. So you're going to be putting a couple things in the comments. You know what? I'm going to re I'm going to reverse this a little bit. Let's make this easy. Um, leave a comment that you are going to place an order, and then in next to that, write down why did I name this the Carmen necklace. Just I'm going to keep it easy so that maybe you'll have to remember what I said. All right, just something simple, just so you know it keeps the algorithm going. If you guys put lots of comments and things like that. Okay. So we've got a bunch of different things that we're going to give away. So just make sure that you write GBE or whatever you want in the in the coupon box. And we'll make sure that we enter you guys in all of the different things that we have giving away. Because this is our one year anniversary. So I'm going to give away lots of good things. So I don't know what I'm going to give away yet, but it'll be some good stuff. So make sure that you um, let us know that you watch the GBE. Okay, so on my uh, GBE takeover day, we did um, some of these. Uh, what do you call these things? Sun catchers. My Lori that works for me, she comes up with these. She's so good at it. And uh, they sold out in, oh, I don't know, a day, I think. We had three different colors and they sold out. So yesterday I said to her, can you please come up with some more? And so she quickly whipped these up. So I cannot remember the names of them. Let me see if I can, I'm going to open up another page on my um website here so I can quickly tell you what these are because these are really fun now I think I don't I think I do have a YouTube tutorial on this um, I think I did it yeah I do have a YouTube tutorial these are a little different in that the other ones were just straight um, soft flex and these ones have a little um, head pin in them so you just have to do on this one she just did like a simple loop she didn't even do a wrapped loop and on this one, she did a wrapped loop. So um, hopefully you can see the difference. Like this one actually has a wrapped loop so that that fits in there perfectly. And then on this one, it's just a little simple loop so that that dangles in there um, nicely. Okay, so this one here with the pendant is called Diamonds in the Sky Suncatcher. And then this one is our Blue Caribbean. And then this one is uh, Pink Mystique. And this one's got this really fun little um, sort of blingy thing that would just sparkle so nicely so um you know i these things are crazy everybody just loved them so much and they you know they don't look like much on here honestly because they're just kind of sitting there flat but when they're dangling all over they look beautiful so i'm just going to pull them up because i don't think they're on camera there there i'm just getting them up there i wanted to yeah i'll pull this one up a little bit more there we go yeah i know sorry i'm off camera i should have had my camera further back i guess there that's better now you guys can see them right so yeah, this one here is the Diamonds in the Sky, and this is the Blue Caribbean, and then this is the Pink Mystique. So if you um, were interested in any of the sun catchers, those are also in the um, they're under pendants on our kit section. Okay, can't see the bottom of the screen? Move them up on the camera. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to pull this back there. Is that better? Trying to, trying to get this all to, to work right so you guys can see. I thought it looked like I could see, but obviously it's not working very well. Now that didn't work very well, did it? That went the opposite way. Okay, well, how about I go this way? Is that better? There you go. Okay, there. Now I think we can see them, right? Okay. I'm trying to look at my other thing here so I can see what we're looking at. Okay, so those are the three different ones that I wanted to show you. And because I have a few more minutes, I want to show you some of the new beads that I got. These are so pretty. So one of my suppliers just um, came out with some beautiful cathedral beads. Now, I unfortunately do not know the codes or the names on these. And maybe my assistant, Vanna, or also known as Jennifer, can um, <laughs> tell you which ones are which because she's really good at this. Um, so these are cathedral beads. I haven't even got them, um, we haven't even processed them yet. So cathedral beads are one of the oldest check glass beads that they make, and the, it's got a beautiful cut, but it's the colors that are so fabulous on this. And I'm gonna just hop over to that 
section and see if I can figure out which ones are which. So that if you go, oh my gosh, I have to have these, I can actually tell you which ones are which. Um, cathedral beads, I think, have their own little section now. Where did that go? Cathedral beads, yes. I tried to split my um, my check glass bead up because I had so many. So this one is the pale purple with the bronze finish. So that one is absolutely gorgeous. Love that one. And these are, just make beautiful earrings or bracelets, anything, but they're just stunning. This is only $10.99 and they're just exquisite. This has a gorgeous finish on them with that um, bronze on there. So nice. So that is the uh, pale purple with the bronze finish. And this one, I'm not sure if this one, I think this is the, I think this is the ruby red, the ruby red with, I think, yes, I think that's the ruby red with the metallic pink wash. And if you look carefully, you can see the pink on there. It's so pretty. I love red beads. And I know Jennifer does too. That's her favorite is the um, red beads. Isn't that pretty? So nice. Love cathedral beads. Lovely. Um, this one is, let's see, this is the transparent gold or transparent with gold luster. I wanted to show you guys some of the new stuff because, you know, it's always hard to get you to see them um, just sort of flat. They don't look like anything. But look at that. How many inches are these? Um, I don't know. I think, I don't know, four inches or something like that. I think you get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 beads on these. So that's beautiful. Okay. There's that one. And then, you know, I'm a, I love anything with blues and greens. So this one is the sea green with the AB finish. Look at that one. I cannot wait to make something with this. I see a pair of earrings coming. <laughs> is that not gorgeous? These are fabulous. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for putting up the links. I really appreciate that. So nice. Yeah, that one's one of my favorites. And this one is the, this one is called the Sapphire and Sky Blue with Antique Silver. And that one looks so antique. And it's really cool because you get a Sapphire and a Sky Blue. So you get a little bit of each. I mean, they don't give you exactly, it's not an even amount. It's kind of sprinkled throughout there. But that one's fun. Okay, there we go. Is that better? <laughs> I'm not doing so well on the uh, staying on camera today, am I? I'm trying really hard, but it's, you know. You just put those in your cart? Well, thank you so much. Those ones are beautiful. Yeah, and you will get 20% off on these today, which, you know, I don't often do on check last. And this one is really nice. I'm keeping my favorite one for last. But this one is really pretty, too. This is the black with the antique silver AB. So that's kind of a nice classic one with that little bit of an AB, whoops, a little bit of an AB um, sparkle. So nice. There we go. So and now I'm going to show you my favorite one. This one is beautiful. And I got a, quite a few new ones um, and I just have to get them all up on the website, but I managed to do this. <laughs> my staff member Theo's over here going, ooh. <laughs> So this is the Thistle with the Bronze AB. Yeah, that's what this one is. And I do have some other ones that are on the website that I didn't bring out, but isn't that nice? So pretty. It's hard to see with this, you know, yellow background, but yeah, these are pretty, eh? So nice. Hey, can you pop off one of your bracelets, Theo? So I have the I have the best staff, and they're very, very creative. And so we have these check glass beads that um, Theo just made this with our, um, this is like, it's hematite, right? Yeah, it's just a, a bronzy colored hematite. And she stacked these up today. And just, these are three different, um, those are the English cut beads. So three different colors, but mixed with the, with the constant um, of the uh, AB, or sorry, the hematite there. Isn't that nice? I love that. As soon as I came in today, I said, ooh, I like that. I really loved how she did that. It's very simple, but it's very striking. Oh yes, thank you. So those, that's what the um, beads look like, the English cut. So, you know, sometimes beads just sit there and they're like, oh yeah, what would you do with them? And then look what you did with them. They look, they look fabulous. So thank you for your creativity. I love that. 
I'm really lucky I have creative staff. Okay, I'm just gonna pop you guys back up in the other thing. So hold on while we get turned around. You can see my, my horrible backdrop, which is my back room. This is, I'm sitting in our shipping room because we don't really have any where, you know, I don't have one of those fancy backgrounds. So now I can actually read what you guys are saying. Yeah, those uh, beads are so pretty, aren't they? Yeah, just love all of them. So anyway, so I hope I didn't confuse you guys when it comes to the um, giveaways. Just make sure if you place an order that you write GBE in there. And I'll make sure that you put in all of the, um, this is crooked, it's driving me nuts. Um, I'll make sure that you put in all of the giveaways. And, um, but you have to place an order in order to be um, eligible for one of the $25 ones. Um, if you leave a comment in this one, we'll make sure that you, we will give away some kits. And you have to make sure that you leave why um, I named that Carmen necklace. Carmen. <laughs> All right. And uh, if you want to make sh uh, sure that you um, sign up or put your name in for the uh, GVE giveaway, make sure that you go to that uh, page. Uh, and again, I've forgotten what somebody told me earlier because, you know, I, I can't remember anything these days. And you have to make sure that tomorrow morning you get up bright and early, get your cup of coffee or whatever gets your day started, and watch Abby at 8.30 in the morning. Um, she's 8.30 Pacific Standard Time or 11.30 uh, Eastern St uh, Standard Time. She has a really cute uh, bracelet tutorial for you, and I think you're going to really love it. So there you go. I have a few more minutes if anybody wants to ask me anything. Now's the time. <laughs> oh. Well, if, um, if anybody places an order and then you go back and you place another one later because you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to get something. Just write on the comment box, this is my second order today and we will do our very best to try and uh, combine them and then we'll refund you the second shipping. We always do that for you if we can. Alrighty. So I don't think I'm going to keep you guys a whole lot longer because you've been um, really patient with my off camera and my assembling and mumbling today. And um, you've had a long day of watching all these fantastic presenters. So I want to thank you guys so much for um, giving us all so much love and support. You have no idea how much this means to all of us. Um, everybody's so kind and caring. And all of your orders have helped us this year stay in business. It's been a very, very tough year for many of us. And um, so we really do appreciate it. I especially appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. Um, you literally have no idea, <laughs> no idea what this, what this does to me when people place orders. It keeps this little store going and um, I do appreciate it. So I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you enjoyed your day. Make sure that you guys have a really fantastic evening and come back tomorrow and see what everybody's got going. And we'll be starting off with Abby and I think you guys are going to have a really, really great time. Okay, so um, I love you guys. Uh, be well, stay safe out there. And thanks again. And we'll maybe see you online tomorrow when we're, we're hopping around. And a special <laughs> shout out to Jennifer. I love you. Thank you so much for helping today. Um, there'll be a little something extra in your, um, <laughs> so, so thank you. I do appreciate all your, um, you know, adding of things. It really does uh, help me out today. So, all right. Thanks everybody. And we will see you again. Okay. Take care. Love you. Bye. What? <laughs>